Greetings, this is N6QW, Pete, and I want to share with you my latest project, uh, which is a single sideband transceiver, single conversion for 20 meters that employs a couple of dual gate MOSFETs. Uh, actually, I had built this transceiver uh, about three or four years ago, and it never quite worked the way I liked it to work. And uh, recently, I've discovered uh, dual gate MOSFETs and what a wonderful device they are, and of course, it was something I've known a long, long time ago, and then uh, the dual gate MOSFETs seemed to disappear from the scene. And recently, I discovered that NXP Philips has a whole line of these dual gate MOSFETs, and boy, they're really inexpensive, uh, around 40 cents uh, a unit. And uh, they are surface mount devices, but they have some really magnificent uh, specifications. I took an on the air video using this transceiver, and which you'll see in a few moments and I tried to give you a feel of the transceiver uh, construction itself and basically this is a bilateral transceiver which means that some of the some of the circuits in the transceiver are used both on transmit and receive and it's a simple matter of uh, biasing some diodes as to, to steer the signal uh, in one direction it's receiving and the other direction it's transmitting and so the uh, the bilateral stages are an IF amplifier right off after the IF amplifier stage following the uh, mix receiver transmit mixer is a bilateral stage using a BF991 and that goes into a 9 megahertz uh, commercial crystal filter and following the filter is a another bilateral stage a BF991 uh, again and that uh, that signal then flows into a, a homebrew combination product detector balance modulator and the product detector and balance modulator are used, of course, on transmit and receive. Uh, from the product combination product detector and balance modulator, uh, one signal is steered uh, to the audio amplifier stage, which is uh, a uh, 2N3904 and an LM386. And then on uh, that's for the receive side. And then on transmit, uh, the uh, the microphone amplifier is an NE5534 and op amp. And uh, these circuits are turned on, uh, biased on, by uh, the TR relay, which uh, directs uh, voltage either to the bilateral stages or to the stages that are uh, not being used. The uh, transmitter linear amplifier board also has a, a receiver RF amplifier stage on that board. And again, these are biased on. Uh, so essentially, the TR relay is not in the antenna circuit, but the TR relay is used for routing uh, voltages so that uh, the steering uh, diode steering is enacted depending upon whether you're in receive and transmit. I've recently added to this uh, an, an AGC circuit and I borrowed the AGC circuit from the HICAS uh, for those of you who may be familiar with the W7ZOI uh, and WA7MLH uh, paper that was written in QSD in uh, 2007. HICAS is an IF amplifier stage uh, using uh, a combination of FETs and uh, bipolar transistors and also has a AGC circuit. So I just uh, borrowed the AGC circuit and had to do some uh, component modifications to, to adapt to this uh, specific circuit, but I've got it working and I'm pretty, uh, pretty uh, happy with the way that turned out. The, the AGC uh, only works on uh, the receive side and uh, when it goes into transmit then uh, there's a little small relay which applies bias to the two bilateral stages so that makes them a fixed gain stage. So um, uh, you'll see in the video, uh, I'm in QSO with N8 um, uh, NY, and uh, it's uh, really nice to uh, chat with Bob again. We've uh, had a few Q QSOs in the past. And so um, I was running uh, the outboard linear amplifier. The transceiver by itself only runs a couple of watts, but uh, that's sufficient to drive a uh, uh, communications concept AN762 uh, linear amplifier module all the way up to 100 watts. So uh, uh, it's very competitive. I've worked a lot of uh, DX at the 100 watt stage, uh, but I've also worked about 15 or 20 stations here um, running nothing uh, stateside, running nothing more than about two watts. And in some cases, uh, uh, the, the one contact that could not believe I was running two watts, uh, the signal conditions were absolutely perfect, and uh, uh, he thought maybe I was running uh, at least 100 watts or so. So uh, the video, uh, which will uh, continue here shortly, uh, covers uh, the actual transceiver in operation. Again, this is Pete, and my call sign is N6QW. Thanks for riding along with us. Oh, yeah. Don't make me 
come out there. Is that guy in Arizona? Is that in uh, Spokane, Washington? Oh, Good, Bob. Uh, K8 New York, November 6th, uh, Quebec Whiskey. Well, uh, nice to run across you again. I'm um, working on one of my uh, experimental homebrew transceivers here, Bob. Uh, this one uh, I completed a couple of weeks ago, and uh, it's a, a single bander for 20 meters. And uh, it's uh, really a QRP transceiver, puts only out a couple of watts, but I am uh, using a solid state linear, about 100 watts uh, peak out. And, uh, boy, you're coming through here in fine fashion this afternoon near Seattle, a nice uh, 5 and 9 signal, 5 and 9 signal, excellent audio quality as usual. Anyway, uh, I envy your weather. We've had really crap weather here for the last several days. Uh, I have quite a few outdoor projects I want to work on, uh, Bob, and uh, I can't get to them uh, because of the, uh, the muddy conditions and just it's raining all the time. Back to you there in West Virginia, near Washington, D.C., our seat of power and seat of government, K8NY, November 6th, uh, Quebec Whiskey. Yeah, and uh, let it be known, Pete, whenever, there, whenever the administration of Congress has a trouble in Washington, they are close to me, and they usually send for me to come in and uh, advise them on, uh, on what to do. That's why we're in the trouble we're in. Just kidding here. But anyway, uh, great to hear you, Pete. Hey, listen, fine on that transceiver. Uh, is that a homebrew transceiver, over? Yeah, Roger, Roger. Homebrew transceiver. Uh, I took a little of this, I took a little of that. And actually, uh, this time around, I'm using a couple of dual gate MOSFETs in uh, two stages, uh, bilateral stages, either side of the crystal filter. And it is a uh, commercial 9 megahertz uh, filter in here. And um, they were trying something new. These are surface mount devices. You can hardly see them with the eye, but they seem to be working uh, quite well. K8NY, November 6, Quebec Whiskey. Okay, being that I'm ignorant to all of that receiver design, is it uh, double conversion? Over? No, uh, single conversion, single conversion, 9 megahertz. Uh, but I do have a, a kit in here, a frequency generator kit with a digital display, and this thing is uh, rock solid. Uh, one of the problems typically that plagues some of the homebrew gear is uh, the old analog drifty VFOs. Uh, this one doesn't move, and uh, the kit is uh, around $45. So that part of it is a kit, but everything else is uh, homebrew. Homebrewed the boards, uh, and as I said, I took a little of this, a little of that, and put it all together. Oh, pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Well, con uh, congrats, uh, congrats to you. And uh, um, not that I'm, uh, not that I'm, um, uh, not that good with soldering iron. I am in small soldering. I don't do the micro stuff. Uh, Indeed, it's but, been a uh, delight uh, to to chat with you. And um, uh, hopefully our next QSO, uh, I'll be uh, be yet on another rig. Hi, hi. K N Y. Uh, great chatting with you again, Bob. November six, uh, Quebec whiskey. Oh, Roger, I'm reading 14185. Yeah, Roger, I'm, I'm just curious if you have a, uh, that capability or if you just had to do it blind, over. No, no, uh, that, that's what the kit uh, for 45 bucks comes with a digital display, although this version is a uh, an oddball display, and uh, it is a serial display, and I'm uh, building another version of this uh, frequency generator that will use a standard LCD backlit. 
So um, uh, it, it, it is quite large, larger than a normal uh, LCD displays, and uh, you kind of have to shine a flashlight on to see where you're at, but uh, pretty accurate. It uses an SI570 uh, frequency generator kit and really, really works well. Uh, seven threes, and thank you very much for the contact again, uh, Bob. Uh, real delight, and you're just sounding marvelous here uh, near Seattle. K8NY N6QW Clear.